to find my four wheel drive. I've been busting to get this 3046R out for the uh, snow removal test. And I don't really have any good, I don't know, special purpose snow removal equipment for it. I wanted to try these edge tamers. I've got three of the four inch edge tamers on it. And uh, they're working beautifully. You can even put a little bit of down uh, angle on the bucket and still not pick up any rock. I have a lot less trouble picking up rock with this than I do those blades. I, the blades that I showed you in the prior episodes, I, I, just, I just have trouble keeping from picking up rocks with them. So we're going to show you some more of this. Let's get started. We've already cleaned off the main driveway. You've seen that in the previous episodes. We found that an angle blade works beautifully for a long driveway. When it's not too wide, it's great for a blade just to be able to push it off to the side. This area that we've got left is more like a parking lot, you might say. We need to push the snow all off to one end of it. I sold my snow pusher for the 1025R. I'll talk a bit more about that a little bit later. The appropriately balanced snow pusher might be a great tool for this particular application, but overall I didn't find it to work very well for my situation. Anyway, at this stage, you might notice that I'm not using the float position. Keep watching and watch some of the symptoms of that, and then we'll switch to using the float later in the episode. to get a little more of this cleared off for the trash truck. The brilliance of this solution is how cost effective it is. It's, you know, just, I don't know, $100 for a pair of them, something like that. It may be a little more now, but, uh, it's very cost effective and it makes your tractor much easier to, to use to push snow. You know, of course there are better, better solutions, you know, a snow pusher, blade, whatever, blower even, you know, better solutions maybe, but for the money, this is hard to beat. A lot of you on our channel have bought these edge tamers and we've got some, just some great comments and Folks seem to really like them. One thing that I would encourage you is that these were invented by brothers. And the whole idea, they got the idea and started the company and, and you know, they've started to make them. And my encouragement would be that you buy them from Edge Tamer. EdgeTamer.com. You know, you can, you can buy them from, uh-oh, scratched up my loader. You can buy the knockoff brands, and they even say Edge Tamer. They've, they've, they've copied not only the product, they've copied the name. Unfortunately, they haven't copied the product very well. We do get some negative comments from people who have bought them from some of these uh, cheap knockoffs. And I, I guess my problem is, is that if we don't support these small companies that, in, that invent things that help us with these small tractors, well then, they're they're not going to be able to do it anymore. The funny thing is, a lot of times the savings isn't much at all. There really isn't much difference in cost. The Edge Tamer team has come out with a new fully cast version instead of a welded version. I don't have it yet, but it is being sold now. So I'm excited to get mine. That's going to allow them to produce more volume. It's kind of hard to see the edge tamers in action when, when they're working, they're usually covered over with snow, right? Well, let me make sure my bucket's empty. And let me show them to you right out here on some snow. You notice I can even have the bucket tipped a little bit forward. I can't see my bucket, which is one of the problems. You can't see the edge of your bucket. 
even if you do have a bucket indicator, it's kind of hard to see. But I'll even tip it forward further. I've got my front wheels totally off the ground, and I'm not digging into the rocks. Right, Christy? And, you know, I, I find that just amazing. I've shown this in the summertime before. It doesn't work quite as well when there's not snow on the ground. It still works, but it does tend to push rocks up in front of the edge tamers in that case. But when you have a little snow on the ground like this, they work fine. If I bring it back down to what I would consider the normal working position, I mean, it's, you know, they, they just work beautifully. Whoops, hit my mower. Well, Christy, the 3046R is working great, but it's got a one-piece seat, so I wasn't able to put the heated seat cover on there. For you. And so I'm feeling some of the cold this time. Uh-huh. Are you sympathetic? No. I didn't think so. That's what I was afraid of. Still not in the float position yet. Notice I have a little issue steering. I get it down just a little bit too low. It doesn't steer very good. It's taken a good bit of effort to try to manage that height manually on my own. Eventually I'll wake up and say, oh, I should try the float. You might also be thinking about uh, rear three-point ballast. I probably could use some, but remember I have a full rim guard in those large back tires, and I also have three 50-pound weights on each side, so got a good bit of rear ballast as it is. Probably just a little bit of laziness kept me from putting the heavy hitch on. I didn't really think about it. I'm running in the float position now just to try that. It's working really well, actually. The edge tamers have enough force to keep it from digging in. And the float position allows me to uh, steer better. I don't have to try to control the height like that. There's times that float doesn't work very good. I get a lot of comments. Why don't you use the float position? Well, sometimes if you push on something really hard, the front end of your tractor will pull up or push up and the loader stays down and it just doesn't work very well. May not be that way on this heavier tractor, but on the little guys it is. Should have got the cab, Christy. Yeah. Wouldn't do me any good. No, for the tasks I've got in mind for this tractor, I don't think I don't think the cab is going to be uh, that important. This one would have been nice. Yeah, when I use the float position, I re enable a full steering. I don't really have any problem with that. It's working really well. I used the snow pusher on the 1025R a couple of years ago. I really couldn't use the float with it. it. It just pushed it down and I had all kinds of trouble steering. So, it all depends on the attachment and the tractor. always concerned when you're close to a vehicle and I feel like I have good control right now but sometimes it just wants to push you sideways and that's not at all what you want. Let's see if I can get in there so I can get in the door of the truck.
I got a comment from Kenton. Oh, you remember cool. Kenton, yeah, right? He had used his edge tamers today and was, was just bragging on them a lot. You know, a lot of people use only their bucket for snow removal, right? Uh, we don't have a lot of snow, no, especially if we get a little further south yet, you, you just don't get that much. And so it's, it's just not worth investing thousands of dollars in specific snow removal. These equipment. take up very little space too. Storage, I hadn't even considered that, yeah. A we, blade is big. Yeah. And, so uh, uh, Tom and Randall use them. Mm -hmm. They use them on their Case 580 uh, backhoe. They've got the bolt-on version. We did a video on that. They really get along well with them. And so, yeah, I think if, if, if you're tight budget and yet you're having some trouble with gouging on, on the rock, I think this is, uh, this is a good solution. Edgetamer.com. Christy, I'm taking you out to dinner wherever you want to go tonight. You've been a trooper. Awesome. Somewhere warm. <laughs> and probably not a cheeseburger. I don't care. We're going to whatever you want tonight. Awesome. If it's open. I hope they have cheeseburgers. Oh. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Christy. For the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It, whatever. It works for me. Actually, it's not. Because I never get tractor time. I get camera time. I asked her if she wanted to be the driver today, and she said, no, I want to be the camera person. Yeah. Mainly because <laughs> I'm not that good at plowing. Well practice makes perfect and really that's one of the aspects of plowing you don't have to be perfect true but not everybody's on video that's true too <laughs>